is to let the fish pick their own partners from a group. That's the best way to get perfect pairs. That's the only way to get pairs that are not going to be aggressive towards each other. And that's what's going to ha give you the most success over a long period of time because if the fish are aggressive towards each other, I said relax. Homie, bro, you're so big, okay? You don't want to get hurt. Relax. Relax. Ow. Really? Calm down, dude. Okay. Relax. Good job. Good boy. Produced by Malik. What is going on, world? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. I am really sorry I haven't put up a video in the last few days. I know I promised you guys the Vlogmas video series. I am dealing with some health complications. I was at the doctor for the last two days and uh, I've been dealing with all of that. So mentally, I was not all there. And also physically, I was feeling a little drained from all the stress of the whole thing. I mean, I'm in a great place right now, mentally and physically. And uh, we are finding out what's going on. So far, it's nothing. And uh, the doctor said that it's probably nothing. And then we'll, you know, do some more tests in the new year. So once those happen, I will keep you guys updated on that situation as I get more information. But right now, there's not much information that I can give you guys except that I went to the doctor. She did some tests. And she told me I'm fine. I had to go back for more tests. So that's it. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to pick angelfish pairs. This is the final video of this video series of how to care for angelfish. I'll put an entire video series link up here, right there, as well as at the end of this video so you guys can check out the entire video series. It talks about complete care guide, how to get them to spawn, and how to raise fry. Now these fry were born in April. You guys can see these in this video series. That's why I made the video series the way I did. So it's a complete catalog of the, the, the life of these guys throughout the last eight, nine months. Well, it's actually eight months, not even nine months. They're just turning eight months actually now. Uh, and they were born in April. So they're about 15 to 20 centimeters long. So six to eight inches tall, okay? From top to top. I actually have some measured videos I put I took. I put them throughout this video so you guys can see. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can get pairs out of angels. Angel fish are not easy to sex. I've been keeping these guys for about 30 years now. You know, I got them when I was like seven or eight years old, and uh, I got them spawning when I was that age, and I've been breeding them successfully for the last three decades plus. This is one of my most favorite fish. I love them. Like, I feel so good when I see them. So, I don't know what it is. I am so attached to them. And I'm really good at keeping them and breeding them. These guys have grown since they were little babies that you can see on the video series up to this size in the last seven and a half months. I'm looking at getting pairs out of this tank because I have a lot of people on my waiting list waiting for pairs from these particular fish because of their genetic makeup and their quality. I'm picking pairs out of this tank with 40 plus fish in it. There were some questions asked about how I can keep this much population in a tank like this. There's two things uh, that are in my favor right now. One is that angelfish are cichlids and cichlids act a specific way in high density. So at this level of population, they do not show aggression to any individual fish for too long because there's so many fish that the, the aggression gets dissipated throughout the herd and no one fish gets picked on. But that might not be the case if you only have two or three fish. So what I recommend is if you are buying these guys to buy at least five or six, I would recommend six because that's a good number to take. And uh, they are $35 each at this size and uh, pairs are $80, okay? Now, I have smaller ones and they're all for sale on my Kajiji website. I will put a link to it down below. I'll put new ads for you guys so you guys can see those as well and they will be available on Jason's website coming soon. So I'll put a link to that down below as well. The reason I pick pairs for people is because when I 
when they ask me for pairs, I tell them the truth. You cannot pick a male fish and a female fish and put them into a tank and expect them to get along. It's like taking a guy and a girl that don't know each other, that never have anything in common maybe, and put them into a house, an apartment, and expect them to be okay and not fight and not kill each other. Chances are that's not going to work because they're not compatible. We pick our mates based on compatibility. The same thing applies to your fish. They are intelligent animals. They mate for a very long time. My, my adult pair, I've had them together for the last four years now almost. And they've been together. They don't fight. They don't have any issues with each other. And they picked each other up from a group of 12 fish. Okay? So there was 12 of them and they picked each other. And I kept those two because of how nice they looked. Right? So that's the best way to go about this. You got to let the fish pick their mates and I think that's the main thing I'm going to talk about in here and I think that's the only thing I'm going to talk about is that if they don't pick their own mate then you are going to have aggression issues when they're not spawning okay if they pick their own mate they will be completely fine with each other throughout their entire lives no aggression with each other okay but if they didn't pick their own mates if you just put a male and a female or if, if they were just two separate fish that just came together and they wanted to spawn and they just spawned because they wanted to spawn, chances are they might not always get along. So this is where a lot of people have a problem with aggression with the angel fish. And the secondary thing is you cannot keep adult fish that are not paired up in a tank without aggression. So you cannot keep two males that are not going to fight with each other. Uh, two females might try to spawn together. So these are things to consider. If you have two males a female and then two, one of the males and the female pair up, the other male will get beaten up. So these are things to consider. And these are because of aggression for egg protection. Now, in this tank, for example, if two fish spawn and there's eggs, uh, the other fish go and eat the eggs, okay? The two fish are get overwhelmed and they cannot attack individual fish because there's so many other fish coming for their eggs. So there's not too much of an issue. But if there's only four fish in your tank, like four angel fish, two of them will pair up and the other two will be away from that and they will chase them off and now once their eggs are laid, those two fish have a reason to attack the other fish in the tank. And that's where aggression or attacks on other angel fish happens usually is when the fish are spawning or right before spawning or when they're pairing up. So this is a crucial time for losing fish but I don't actually lose any fish in this tank because obviously there's so many fish aggression gets reduced, there's less issues that way. This is not practical for a lot of you guys, so what I recommend is picking up six fish out of a group like this. So come and see six fish here, say I want six of them, or let's say you know you ask me to pick you six fish based on what I think are males and females, because I can kind of tell what fish are males and females, just based on like physiological characteristics, because I've had these type of fish for decades now. But you take them, you put them in your tank, and then what you got to do is every time a pair is formed, you pull that pair and put it in a separate tank. This is the only safe way to do this without having your fish being aggressive after that. This applies to all other cichlids including large South American cichlids like Ombis and Jaguar cichlids and you know all these types of fish. The reason the males and the females have aggression is because you have not grown them up together in a group since they were small and let them be comfortable with each other and pick who they want to be with okay if you do not let them do that chances are very high that your fish are gonna fight so that's what I'm gonna say in terms of conclusion is to let the fish pick their own partners from a group that's the best way to get perfect pairs that's the only way to get pairs that are not gonna be aggressive towards each other and that's what's going to give you the most success over a long period of time because if the fish are aggressive towards each other, they eat their eggs, they eat their fries, if the one is chased away, they'll come and try to eat the eggs now. All these problems, I don't have any of those with my breeding group or my breeding pairs because they pick their own partners, okay? So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. I hope you guys learned something out of this video series. Highly recommend checking out the rest of the videos. It explains every detail from angelfish care, breeding, and fry raising, and now how to pick males and female pairs, and how to get perfect pairs. I also have pairs available, so if you guys want to buy some of these as pairs, contact me either through my Kijiji 
or through the website. I'll put links to it down below and we can go from there. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all. Oh, that's a big one. Aren't you? Oh, wow, look at you. Like almost 20 centimeters there? Yeah. 19, 20? Good job, sweetheart. Very good. Very good. Good job.